Cliff divers say that hitting water at 50 miles an hour can feel like you're slamming into concrete. If your body isn't perfectly positioned, you could suffer concussions, spinal injuries, or death. So why do it? We followed some extreme athletes to the Aran Islands of Ireland to find out. Here's ABC's Gloria Riviera. At the extreme edge of the world, jagged cliffs meet churning sea. Definitely a little nervous. Locals call this spot the Serpent's Lair on the Isle of Innismore in Ireland, where gale force winds can scream over icy waters. So cold. Only the most intrepid dare it all for that perfect dive. David Culturi is one of them. A little bit over on the entry, but all in all, first dive, so that's yeah. always the most nerve-wracking. This is the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. 22 athletes, six events, and only one way out, a 90-foot plunge into frigid darkness. David's journey began on another coast, training for months in California. Two, three. The grueling physical demands on a diver have dominated his life since he was a little boy. Now his own body can be the challenge. David is fighting back from a shoulder injury that stole last season from him. It was long and tough and nerve-wracking and mentally strenuous. It's been a long recovery road. Across the country, in Indiana, a different challenge for a gymnast turned diver. I'm excited. I'm hoping that this is going to be my year. Cecily Carlton will be one of the first women allowed to compete at the Serpent's Lair. If even a minor thing goes wrong, you can get hurt really bad. That's always in the back of your mind when you go up that high. Weeks later, we set off across the stunning Irish countryside. We've come all the way from the East Coast, flown to Dublin, a three hour drive to Galway, and now it is amazing. We made it to the Gaelic town of Rosseville, but guess what? We missed the last ferry. Lucky for us, there is a fishing boat. More than 24 hours of travel later, we are on Innismore in the dead of night, the serpent sleeping in his lair until dawn. Just after daybreak, we meet up with David. Feels like we are at the edge of the world with the Atlantic. <laughs> yeah, Innismore, it's a pretty cool spot. Limestone terraces twist underfoot uh, until yeah. suddenly a perfect rectangle is revealed at low tide. No way. Yeah. That is crazy. How does a kid from Toledo become a global cliff diver? How does that happen? <laughs> the short story is my dad says he dropped me on my head too many times as a kid. <laughs> um, so that's where the downward spiral started at a young age. Just five years old when he started through college dreaming of Olympic gold, narrowly missing the 2018. So this is big for a couple of reasons, but mainly you're coming back from a big injury. The, the toughest injury I've, I've ever had. I tore my supraspinatus and my labrum and my biceps tendon needed some work. When you look at the sport, what are the, what are the dangers? Hypothetically, the consequences are severe. The speeds that we hit going almost 90 kilometers an hour, about 57 miles an hour, hitting that water, you kind of hear the analogy, oh, it's like hitting concrete, it's, it's hard. So we're talking torn muscles and ligaments. Really bad entries can be loss of consciousness, punctured lungs, internal hemorrhaging. The margin of error is small, extremely, extremely small. It's such a precise sport. Exactly, and that's where people paint us out to be adrenaline junkies, just kind of looking for this thrill. But when you actually see it, these are very, very calculated risk takers. You're not just going up there and chucking stuff because that's, that's how you don't make it to the next jump. Uh, definitely a little nervous, but excited as well. It's time for his first practice dive. I mean, it's been a long build up to this. When these divers hit the water, there are no less than four safety divers on hand if anything goes wrong. How was it? Uh, it looked good. It looked good. Yeah, From yeah. where I was sitting, it looked good. How did yeah, it feel? It was fine. Uh, yeah. A little bit over on the entry. His second dive. Woo! Let's see that again. 
two somersaults and a half twist, hitting the water at 53 miles per hour. At these speeds, athletes have to dive in feet first. The impact on their bodies too much for a head first entry. You say every dive you go on a roller coaster from terrified to overjoyed. Mm -hmm. This is what you do, and yet every time before a dive, there's that little hint of fear. Absolutely, yeah, and and it's it can start weeks before you come. Yeah. It it comes as soon as you touch down. It starts when you wake up in the morning, and it definitely hits when you step on that platform. All the athletes say they feel it. You've got the wind. You've got the rain. It's cold here. You've got a horizon water that's endless, and you're looking at it, hoping that what you see is still going to be what you see in a dive. Hopefully, it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. It's time. I think that once the first dive goes in, then uh, you know, I'll, I'll be able to calm down a little bit. Uh. Their risk taking is a big attraction for locals. It's game time. Olympic diving champion Greg Luganis, former judge, now Red Bull sports director, says this is the future of diving. The tricks that they're doing, the elements of degree of difficulty, and uh, uh, you know, it's just amazing what they're 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 doing. So they're progressing the sport. He says precision is key to getting high marks. You're looking at the takeoff, strong takeoff, the flight in the air. You know that it's smooth and graceful, and then entry into the water. First, the men. David heads up for his first dive. Yeah, eight and a half, so we'll take it. Eight it's, and a half? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Um, I mean, you're always looking for those nines and tens, but in these conditions, first first event of the year, we'll start with that and we'll be happy. Now the women. Cecily claiming seventh. I'm proud of myself for getting out there. I really didn't want to do it, so it's cold. David's final dive, three somersaults, three twists, but he over-rotates at the bottom. Slight over-rotation at the bottom. Finishing in fifth place. But being at the forefront of this extreme sport, keeping Thank Olympic you, dreams alive, is a win. It's potentially going to be an Olympic sport. That's a, a dream that I've had as a kid, and um, it transferred from traditional diving to now cliff diving. For now, it's the Wild West, and we're kind of forging our own path. For Nightline, I'm Gloria Riviera in Innismore, Ireland. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.